This is breaking news. Not used to seeing this. Um. Not at all. A wildfire raging tonight, forcing mandatory leave now evacuations, torching at least one home and other structures, the flames ripping through dry fields as crews work to try to get a handle on it. This is Coin 6 News at 11 o'clock. I'm Jennifer Hoff. I'm Jeff Gianola. In just the past hour, more mandatory evacuations have been ordered. We now know the substation fire has jumped the Deschutes River, moving into Sherman County. This fire started here. Salilo substation right off Highway 197. Our latest report, it has now burned 20,000 acres. Cole Miller reports from the fire lines. It makes my heart bleed. I'm, it's just overwhelming. It's very, very sad. A massive plume of smoke billowing just above Highway 197. Lena Coltgen and her family watching in awe as the fast moving, wind driven substation fire near the Dalles burns those wheat fields and tall grasses. It's devastating. The farmers are really going to need all the help they can get. This is dry land and it just, it just goes. Yeah. And the wind's not helping any. Spot fires litter that dry land and off one of the county roads, the shells of what used to be. Chopper 6 capturing this intense video, structures going up in flames, that fire simply swallowing them. From what we've seen on the ground so far, this by far is the worst of the devastation. The property owner here telling me a 100-year-old home has burned to the ground. A silo as well tumbling, the twisted metal back there. A barn also in shambles as farmers work along firefighters to put water on the hot spots here. Those living here were too busy to talk on camera, telling me they're working to save another home. And just a mile or so away, with power lines tipping, more destruction. The smoldering remains of either brush or a small building still crackling. Well, we're in the heart of that evacuation zone as people continue to flee their homes. And at about 8 o'clock or so, this is a look at the fire line now. Crews working vigorously to get a handle on things, some kind of containment as the wind continues to push those flames over these rolling hills. And as fire crews continue this battle, some can only look on. And with things being so bone dry, it only takes that one small spark to cause this kind of landscape a reminder to everyone to be careful. I see a lot of people doing the flicking the cigarettes out here. So it's like, are you stupid? It's just, it's sad. Near the Dalles, Cole Miller, Coin 6 News. Cool, thank you. And remember, this was a fire that just about an hour ago was burning 6,000 acres. At this hour, has now jumped to 20,000 acres. The Red Cross set up a shelter for evacuees at the Dalles Middle School, and a separate animal shelter is located at Home at Last Animal Rescue. Natasha, keeping track of the wind conditions in the Dalles tonight, what do we have here, Natasha? Wind speeds have died down ever so slightly, but between 15 to 20 miles per hour still. Let's take a look at that map and show you what we're talking about. Onshore flow has increased, meaning winds are coming from the west going to the east. You can see it right there. The Dalles, 18 miles per hour. So that's the overall theme as we look a little bit closer here. Red flag warning that continues through tomorrow night. That includes this area where that fire is burning. Zooming in closer here, overall wind speed just south of I-84 out of the west up to about 19 to 20 miles miles per hour. Winds will die down a little bit more so later tonight and tomorrow. But look at that temperature of the Dallas. It's 82 degrees. We'll have more details for you coming up. And we'll continue to follow the progress of this fire now burning in the gorge. We have live team coverage bringing you updates on our morning newscast starting at 430. And